That's one, two, three, six, eleven. We will cast this. Score eleven. Like that. Cannot be countered. Boom, bada beam, bada bang. We copy it, we target him, and we say GG well played! Hello everyone and welcome! I'm Lenny and you watching Lenny TV. Today we will be revisiting uh, an awesome, awesome list. It is playing Lich's Mastery and Chance for Glory, which is a spell that loses you the game to win you the game. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> the original creator is Eli Eldrazi and I will leave uh, a link to his original list um, and to his Twitter account if you want to ask him about the deck down below. Uh, full credits go to that guy. I have just... Uh, Looked at the deck and updated some stuff to, yeah, essentially test some cards out if they fit the deck. And one great fit is Uro. But before we get into the deck explanation, which is rather short today, I've talked a little bit about what we want to do with this deck. But th this deck is best explained in action. When you see this deck in action, this deck, deck makes a lot of sense to state fund uh, for the gameplay uh, if you want to understand this deck. Uh, before you play it. All right, Bef before we get into the deck explanation, uh, please make sure to sub, smash the sub buttons, like the video if you enjoyed it, and if you have some recommendations for upcoming decks or some improvement ideas for the deck, please leave them down in the comment section below. And without further ado, let's jump right into the deck explanation. All right, everyone, we're in the deck builder, and as you can see, this one is quite a lot to take in. Um, we have... Lich's Mastery as uh, the card that we built this deck around. Um, and Lich's Mastery reads a lot of things. First of all, you cannot lose the game. Second of all, whenever you gain life, you draw that many cards. Third effect, whenever you lose life, for each one life you lost, exile a permanent you control or a card from a hand or a graveyard. And the last thing it, it, it reads is when Lich's Mastery leaves the battlefield, you lose the game. Um, it has hexproof, so that's not a problem at all. The only thing that comes to my mind that get rid gets rid of this is uh, Cleansing Nova. But uh, I have not seen Cleansing Nova at all. So, what this deck wants to do is to ramp, ramp, ramp. Get to a point where um, it has ramped a lot. And then you want to cast a chance for glory, take an extra turn. Then you drop the Lich's Mastery. And then you have Root Snares to stay alive, prevent all the damage, and as soon as you have that set up, you drop a Conjecture, you get back the extra turns or the Root Snares, you drop a Tamu, you get back the extra turns Root Snares. If you miss those things, you can Masterminds for, um, for an Tamu or something that helps you stay alive out of the sideboard uh, with the Nature Spiral. You can get back the conjecture out of your graveyard and there are just a lot of answers in the sideboard. Um, if you need to wipe the board, wipe the board. If you need to get a conjecture, get the conjecture. If you need to gain life, gain life with the celebration. If you kill the, want to kill the opponent, play Banefire. Um, because uh, the conjecture reads until end of turn, whenever you cast an instant or sorcerer spell, you may copy it. So that means if you cast a Banefire for 11, it will deal 22 damage because it copies it and Painfire cannot be copied. So pretty much game ending effects right there. Yeah. The only thing I would change in this list is cutting the Platinum Angel. I, I don't know if you actually need the Angel. It's just a worse Lich's Mastery. Um, because it, it's, a, it's a creature and it can die. Uh, I've... I've put it in here because it's kind of a uh, like reinsurance um, if the mastery um, leaves the battlefield and you have an angel on the battlefield you cannot um, lose the game even when the mastery r gets removed and if you uh, cast a chance for glory the angel gets indestructible like not for the end like not like for uh, one turn forever the angel is indestructible forever so they need an excel effect for... I, I guess you can leave it in. Uh, for optimizing the list, you probably need to cut it and get an extra Teferi or an extra Uro. Uro performs really well and synergizes really well because you want to fill your graveyard with Tamiyo and Discoveries anyway. And then 
um, you can uh, escape him. So yeah, I run this for the memes and just because I love the card, it is so gorgeous. I just want to play it. But uh, optimized list probably cuts this and adds another Uru or something here uh, in these slots. Yeah, I am. Um, I just want to pretty much uh, explain this deck by playing it. So we will jump right into some games. Um, it's pretty easy to understand the deck when you see it. It's not so easy. Uh, at least for me, it wasn't that easy to understand the deck uh, when I was just looking at the deck list. I was like, all right, what does this deck do? So without further ado, we will jump right into the games. Um, they will help on the, uh, everyone understand this deck pretty easily. So yeah, <laughs> let's have some fun. And the games today are really awesome. So let's jump right into them. All right, we, <laughs> we play against Bald Space Jesus. Fitting Avatar in uh, Teferi here. This is a very greedy start. But uh, hey, we are playing against the fairy anyways, and the fairies are always a bad sign. All right, a forest. Oh, we might play against mono green. That's that's good. That sounds like more fun. All right, so hopefully we don't die too quickly here. Interesting. So this might be escape shift. Field of the dead deck. Will he smack me here? How rude. Man, you have some nerves. We will uh, play Grove Spiral here. We will drop this tapped. Our turn now. We have <laughs> we pick up an Uro. Um. Yeah. This is a tricky one. Um, I mean, we can shock this in to... Actually... Actually, we want... Um, oh, I did it wrong twice. We want this one to be the enchanted one. Now we will gain back some life and we can even cast Root Snare. I don't think we need it. But yeah. <laughs> oh, he he missed the, the... He whiffed here with the Green Seeker. That's fine. Cast with Garen Brick into an Arcbow Ranger. Right. Now this will... This will... Be troublesome. Both will get a plus one. Oh. I mean, we didn't need the root snare here. But I'm pretty sure we will need it in the upcoming turns. So let's gain some life, let's draw a card. Sadly, not a land. Uro will sacrifice itself. And let's pass the turn. Does he hit it? Yes, he did. That's pretty good. So he shocks in the breeding pool. And there is a Nissa. Alright. Now we are talking. I think casting Rusnir here is a little bit overkill. But... Um, I guess, why not cast here, right? And we find a trium. Alright, let's drop a trium then. And let's drop the Miraris Conjecture now. We will return the root snare here. Um, this is just gambling on the fact that I don't think we will die here. And uh, it essentially prepares us for maybe something good um, on the third downtick 
on this saga here. Alright, my opponent can deal quite a lot of damage here. This is 2, 4, that's 6. 8 plus 6. That's 14 at least. At least 14 damage here. Because there is still an uptick with uh, the Arcbow Ranger. Oh, that's a big trade, this. So, yeah. We will take 14. And my opponent now has a really big crisis. So, yep. And now we will take the 14. No, we won't because he developed some more creatures here. That's just good for us. Uh, we didn't ha have a sorcery. Alright. It's stalling time. So we will drop a search for a Skanta. And we will also uh, play a discovery. Oh! This is exactly what we want. Come here. Awesome. Let's end the turn. That is fine. Reclamation Sage. Alright. He is scared of that. I mean, it's fine. He can destroy that. This way... I guess we have no double cast on the chance for glory. We will put some counters nowhere, I guess. And that's it. He goes to combat. He looks at the top. He knows that I have the root snare. He still has to force me to use it. And he does that. Yeah, we keep that. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So, for this turn, we will cast Chance for Glory. What do we get here? We have enough for Lich's Master, enough black, right? So, this is one black, two black. Yeah, we have enough black. Let's get um the swamp anyways. So now we will use three will four left. So this turn we cast we cast Uro, we escape Uro. We have to choose five here. That's gonna be the Gross Wild Steam Vents Passage. The Discovery and... Oh man, this is really tough. I guess the Conjecture. We escape the Uru out. We find the land. We put that into play. This one will enter tapped. And now we cast Chance for Glory here. We have to, otherwise we have pretty much lost the game. Alright, do we want to land here? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine with that. Um I don't think so. Let's toss this away. We have another Uro. That's good. Let's drop the Lich's Master here. And let's attack something here. 
Let's actually attack this side here. Of course we put that into play. We will draw three more cards. Awesome. And of course my opponent will block that attack. Um at this point we are not really able to shock anything in. Because then the Lich's Mastery will just screw us over. So let's drop the Triumph here. We of course won't lose the game because of the Lich's Mastery. Um, here I'm just gonna cast Root Snare. And that's our only <laughs> like option to win this game. But it's a very good one. If there is no counter spell, we pretty much don't take any damage. Nissa will get a lot of forests into play. I mean, that's fine. I'm hoping to go off next turn anyway, so. Even though this seems really insanely, crazily strong. Alright, you have a lot of mana. All of it is green. What is the play here, my friend? Another Krasis? No, another Nissa. Alright. You can have that. Alright, put some counters on there. Some more mana. Yep. What is the play now, my man? The Hydra. All right. That will do nothing because it is indestructible. And now I'm just gonna root snare. How much damage is this? It's lethal. You have to attack me here. Yeah. Yeah, we, ha we will cast root snare anyways. So no damage will be dealt. We of course have to keep this. First, let's attack with Uro here. He cannot uh, really stop it. I mean, he can throw in the Hydra in front. Oh! How much cards do we have in the graveyard for? Let's actually pay to life. We'll draw free. Let's get the mountain here and the Narset here. We will draw that. All right. So let's get a Tamio. So from outside the game, we will we can also get a Miraris Conjecture. So let's get that. We will cast this now, just so that we don't forget it. And we will also shock in the overgrown tomb and that just means that the game is over because we drop the tomb we get the conjecture 
we get back the chance for glory. And then we next turn we get back. Uh, we get the uh, Tamio from the sideboard. We get back a chance for glory. We cast it. And we get back the masterminds from the second tick of the conjecture. Then we mastermind again and again. We draw a lot of cards. We, we can win the game from there in some weird way. Um, so yeah, let's jump right into another game here. All right, we're playing against Rivalan. He is playing Nicol Bolas, the dragon god. And I like this hand, even though we don't have a growth spiral. This is not a hand you toss away with this deck. We will start off with a Triumph. Into another Triumph. Pretty good start for us. Next turn we will play Uro. Uh, we could also drop Narset here. Let's try Narset. My opponent is casting Grove Spiral. That's it's just a really good card. He enters the breeding pool. He, of course, will down to Narset here. Oh, pretty good, pretty good. Discovery or Grove Spiral. So with Grove Spiral, we can ramp a lot. With Discovery, we can search for the cards we need. Um, we will cast Uro next turn anyways. Oh no, we're playing against the mill deck or what? Um, Alright, so he revealed the plan. So now we have to do something to address that plan. Let's uh, down tick uh, Narset here again. We find a chance for glory. That's not something you want to be revealed to your opponent. We're gonna cast Uro now. Yeah, we're gonna sh shock this in. Just because uh, life in this matchup won't matter at all. We're gonna shock this in as well. And let's try and find some cards that we really need. So there's a red source. We don't have some red. So we would need that. And I'm gonna actually help him build myself here. Alright, having Narset on the field is really good against this deck. Because uh, if he wants to draw some cards now, he of course is not able to draw some extra cards. Alright, and Teferi is just really good against his deck in general. Because now instant speed interaction is out of the way. We will bounce the Corrosion. Find a Growth Spiral. We will cast this first. Let's see if we find another land. We don't. We put this into play tap then. We have both chains for glories. Yeah, these two cards just shut down his deck. And you see how strong these two cards alone are. Essentially these two cards are winning me the game right now. Because with Narset, he, his strategy with drawing extra cards doesn't work. And Teferi just bounces that annoying card. Let's crack the Fabled Passage here. Let's get a Swamp. Let's uh, uptick Teferi here. Um, I want to have a Temio. Um, we also, so he doesn't run any counters. We will grab a Temu then. And we do nothing. He will mill some stuff here. He mills a Temu. That's sad. There's still one left in the deck. And now he decides to get rid of the Narset. Because with the Narset, um... This whole strategy is uh, like 
prevented. Let's see here. If he mills us, we essentially just find more stuff. With the Tamiyo, we kind of prevented him. Or we should prevent him from actually milling us. Because uh, if he does... Yeah, that's really cute. He... Plays a creature to threaten... The fairy. But that's alright. We will drop a Tamiyo. And we will name Lich's Mastery. We don't find that card. Alright then, we will escape an Uro. Land, Grove Spiral. Passage. Grove Spiral, Passage. Uro is a great fit in this deck because you want to fill your graveyard anyway. Oh yeah. You want to ramp and you want to gain life because aggressive decks can kill you. Alright. Uh, if we find a Lich's Mastery, uh, we have just straight up won the game, I think. There is nothing my opponent can do to stop this deck as soon as the uh, Mastery is uh, dropped. This is fine. As, as long as Tamiyo stays, we are in a good position here. So, what is the plan here? Alright, the reunion. He will draw three cars, milling us. So he starts milling us. Oh, there is a Lich's Mastery. Alright. The awesome thing is, we can even get... Um, we can even get... Um, like a Jace from the sideboard. <laughs> and with the Jace, we can just win. Because when if we have zero cars in the library... Jace just wins the game. We will return the Lich's Mastery here. Give me that. We will cast it. There is no instant speed interaction for my opponent because of the fairy. So there is uh, no like interrupting my, my turns at all. Now let's drop a Miraris Conjecture. Let's get back our uh, extra turn. Let's cast another one. Let's uptick Samuel here. It doesn't really matter what I name here. Let's name Narset. Let's uptick the fairy. Awesome. Now we can maybe one time play this out. We will not lose. We'll return uh, a Masterminds here. Then we will recast a chance for glory, take an extra turn. We will return the chance for glory from the graveyard with Tamio. Alright, and now we need to work on a win condition. We will. Uh, we always need to take an extra turn. Alright, so next turn we can copy something. So that means we only need to get a Bane Fire. here we will also play an uro all right we draw a lot of cards here because of lich's mastery uh, we will drop this tapped we won't lose it we will discard some cards and now until end of turn we copy something all right Let's uh, shock this in. We will need to get rid of two cards. These two. And now we will cast a big Banefire. How big, you ask? Well, it will be enough to kill him. So that's the one we need. That's one, two, three, six, eleven. We will cast this. Four, eleven. Just like that, it cannot be countered. Boom, bada bing, bada bang. We copy it, we target him and we say, GG, well played. This is how you play this scenario out. Or you can just take infinite turns and play until he surrenders. All right, this is the deck. The deck is really, really awesome. Um, 
Maybe we can cut the Platinum Angel. I don't know if you need that, actually. The Mastery is just better. Just cut the Angel. The Angel doesn't fit in here. Maybe add another Uro. Uro performs really well in the deck. Or another Teferi. Yeah. I think those cards fit the deck better. Um, but yeah. I will actually cut it um, and change the deck list around before I do the, the deck explanation and the introductory part. I hope you enjoyed it. The deck is really, really awesome. It's insanely fun. Uh, it's amazing to play. And all the credits go to Ali Eldrazi. Um, I will leave, I will leave uh, the links and everything um, down below. He is the creator of this and I just reworked it uh, f uh, to be updated for this historic, uh, for the historic play right now. So yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you're safe. I hope you're healthy. And yeah, smack the sub button for this one. This one is an awesome one. If you have the cards, please make sure to play it. And we will see you in the next one. Bye.